All right, we're going to look at a detached living area, and this is one problem that we have in MLS where these types of spaces get reported as finished living area and included in the total square footage count. Now, you're going to see in the area behind the garage, the office is marked as 8 by 11, and indeed it is finished living area. You know, it has the heat vents, it's got finished flooring, sheetrock, you know, it looks like the rest of the finished living area. But you have to leave the main finished living area to enter the space. All right, now we're looking inside the garage right now, and you can see from the exterior that door that you're looking at right there goes through to the main house. The first door that you see is the laundry area, and the second door is the finished office. Now, what happens, or you can see inside of here, you know, there's wire shelving, and they use this as an office and a storage space, but it's got a cold air return, it's got the finished, you know, it's got the vents, there's a window to the exterior, and I mean, it looks like a typical finished living area, but a lot of people are putting, or a lot of agents are putting these kinds of spaces into MLS and including it as part of the total finished living area for the main house. And while this area is finished, it is a, it's technically a detached finished living area and it should always be separated from the main house. And you can see the outside window there, you know, it technically could be a bedroom, you know, it's got a door, it's got a window, it's finished. However, it still has the detached uh, definition to it simply because you have to leave the main house to get to it. Now, as you walk back into the garage, you can see, you know, just a typical garage. And then we're coming around from that finished space to the area that is the laundry. Now, what happens here, we've got some agents that are putting in the finished offices square footage and some agents who are also including the laundry space as part of the finished living area. Because when you walk in the laundry, what do you see? You know, it's drywall, it's got a finished ceiling, it's got tile flooring, you know, there's a door to the exterior, but it's basically like any laundry area, you know, it's finished space. You can see the vents in the roof here. Matter of fact, I think there's two vents in this space. And it looks like other finished spaces, except for the fact that you've got like a hot water heater in here and the heating system, I believe. And, you know, of course, a lot of parts of the house, you know, there's rooms that have these kind of features inside of them, and they're still part of the finished living area. But in this case, you've got to walk out of the main area and or when you go into the garage, that door actually leads into a dining area. So you've got to leave the dining area, come into the garage, and then you go to this finished space. So it's technically not included in the finished living area. Now, if there was a door from the main living area to this laundry area, and you could go you know, inside the house without having to go in the garage, it would change the way this space could be listed. But this is something that's really important for appraisers to know that even though this space is finished, it is a detached, finished living area, and it should not be included in your finished square footage total. Always, if the space is separated, you should separate it when you report the square footage.